Hello. In this video, we'll demonstrate how I make my welcome letter more accessible. I'm going to start by um, showing you the background of this letter. Notice that I have a background color, which is gray. Um, having a background color makes it difficult. <coughs> excuse me. Makes it difficult for um, for students with disability to read the text if I'm using other colors throughout the document. And I'm showing you here an example. Uh, my email address is in blue, so it's kind of hard to read the text with the color gray. In addition, notice I have other links here. I have a green link, and I have other blue links here, which makes it uh, difficult with that uh, gray background. So my new uh, welcome letter, I remove the background color. Notice in addition that I use um, a number list to keep structured in the document. Um, previously I was using bulleted items and it was making it difficult to to follow. In addition I had too much line spacing in between each bulleted item. So it wasn't really consistent, so it was making it difficult to, to read. Also, I have side headings in my document. For example, number three says contacting the instructor. Number four, of course, technology. And throughout the document, I have more um, side heading. What I did with the side headings, I changed the formatting. Notice here I'm using uh, bold to have the... the um, Side headings stand out well. It's not reading the. It's not meeting the requirement for accessible uh, document. So what I did to change, I'm using the. Um, now I'm using a style which is heading one, and I use that to every um, side heading to be consistent with with the styles within the document. In reference to length. I'm using links throughout my document. For example, I'm using my email address and I'm also adding link for um, tutorials on how to use Blackboard. Also links for the uh, online course reading assessment, for learning resource center, and also for the uh, student accommodation. Um, the reason I use links is to for students to have easy access to more information for particular topics that I have here on my document. So by removing the uh, background, students are able to see the links uh, clear and able to, to read the uh, links that I have available. Also notice that I have, um, I'm sorry, I'm using a size 11 font size and the style I'm using Calibri, which I changed now to my welcome letter. I'm using either a size 12 or 14 and a font style of Times New Roman. I changed that to make the font a little bit larger and for the uh, font style makes it easier to to read, uh, which I'm now I'm meeting the uh, the requirement to have my document more accessible. 